Hey everybody, welcome to Wesley Studios. I am Professor Puffin, and today we're going to learn how to draw a bird. Alright? So, before we get started, I want you to think about all the types of body parts that we share with the bird. For instance, a body. We all have a body, right? So let's draw a body first. The first thing you want to do is draw a kind of circle that looks like a body. So, this bird is going to be facing upward a little bit. And this is going to be this bird's body. Alright. Good so far. Next, the bird needs a head. We have heads, right? So let's put a head on. Alright. There's the bird's head. What's next? Well, we also share, we also have eyes, right? So, you better put some eyes on this bird. That's the out part, and now let's put his eyeball in his pupil. All right, good so far. Next, what else do we have in common with birds? Well, for starters, we both have legs, but a bird's legs are a little different. Our legs bend up like this, right? But a bird's knees kind of bend backwards, like that. That's pretty crazy. Let me show you how we're going to draw that. The first leg comes down here, and it's got his knee there, just like that. And then, over here, like that. Kind of looks weird, huh? Well, you know why? Because he needs another leg. And this leg is going to be further up. So you're not going to see the elbow or the knee. You're going to see just the last part. So, what's he holding on to? Well, probably some kind of branch or something, right? So we're going to have a branch go through here, just like that. Yeah. All right. So, that's a funky looking bird. He's missing some parts, huh? What are things that birds have that we don't? Well, for starters, they have one of these things, a beak. So let's put a beak in. That's a pretty good beak. How does that beak open, though? It looks like it's kind of shut. So it needs to have two pieces, a bottom piece and a top piece. So now it can open and eat and talk and sing and do all the things that birds do. What else? Well, birds have something else that we don't have. And it helps them fly and helps them keep balance. You know what it is? It's a tail. This bird's tail is going to be really cool. It's going to go up here and just like that. All right, that bird's got a tail. Now what? Well, there's something else missing here. What else do birds have that we don't have? Hmm. Oh, they have wings. That's right. We need to put wings in. Up here by its shoulder is the back of the wing. And here's the front of the wing. All right, we're getting closer. Now, this bird pretty much has all the parts it needs, but there's one thing missing. All of his feathers, that's right. Birds have tons and tons of feathers. They have feathers everywhere on their body almost. So, we're going to now get into drawing some feathers, okay? But before we start to put feathers on, let's think about some things for a minute. That head looks like it's just sitting on the body. It doesn't have a neck yet, does it? Let's put a neck on. Connect here, like that. That's the back of the neck. Now, it needs the front of the neck too, right? So let's put the front of the neck. There's the front of the neck. All right. So. Now we have a, a bird sitting on a branch, 
He's got his neck, he's got his eyes, his beak, his wings, his tail, his feet, his legs, everything. And now we're going to get into doing some feathers. So let's start with some of the coolest feathers a bird has, the flight feathers. A bird has all kinds of feathers that add up on his body, allow him to help the other feathers have strength when he's flying through the air. So there's some feathers up here. And there's going to be some more feathers that came up from underneath there. And finally, the longest feathers of the wing go here. Like that. All right, he looks like he might be able to fly. Now, the tail also has feathers, right? Let's go a line through the middle here. And let's just have some fun and actually draw it like it's a feather. How cool is that? All right, now, the next part. The bird also has feathers on his head and face. So, the, typically they have a cool little, little thing like that, like, kind of like we do, a hairdo. And this bird has neat feathers around its eyes. And more feathers. All right, now, the last part, the body. The body has feathers too. And so these feathers underneath are nice and fluffy because he likes to sit on his butt at night and stay warm. So he needs to have feathers down there. And if it's a girl bird, it's going to sit on the egg when it hatches or when it's trying to hatch it. And so while it's sitting on that egg, it's going to want to keep it warm. And that's what all those feathers help do down underneath. And then you have feathers that go up the bird. Like that. And there's some feathers on its back too. That's right. These feathers are real streamlined. Because these are the feathers that when it flies, you don't really see them doing much. They kind of hide. All right, what's next? Let's see. Now, imagine that this bird has some designs on it, right? So every bird you see out in the wild, just look at me, for instance. Look at my design. I have black, white, orange, all kinds of colors. And the same with birds in the wild. They all have different colors. So we're going to imagine that right here, and at home, you can do this with actual color, that his neck the whole time is actually dark. And it went all the way down to his chest. See how my chest is white? This bird's is actually the opposite. It's going to be dark. That's pretty cool. I like that. Now, on the top, he's going to have a neat design up here, too. So all these feathers up here, they're actually a part of the design. So from his beak, Just like that. Okay. Now, the feathers on his wings, he might want to, when he's flying through the air, show you a design that shows his particular colors. So when he flies through the air, some of these might be different colors. So what we're going to do is we're going to have some fun. This one is going to be a little darker, and this one is going to be a little darker. And those two are going to remain white. And then we're going to alternate it the other side. These are going to be the dark ones. And then the other ones are going to be white, these two here. So when this bird flies through the air, it's going to look like it's flicking and flickering through the air, almost like an animation. Okay, and now the tail feathers also. We're going to give them some design too. You can just play however you want. There's no wrong way to draw a bird, but there's certainly some funny ways to draw a bird. And finally, the last little thing that happens is all of these things connect. So what we want to do is actually make the tail feather kind of look like it goes on about just a little bit. And it looks like it connects down here just a little bit. Same with the legs. They actually have some feathers that come down this way, like that. Now, 
the last little bit. We want to give him some details around the eyes, right? Let's go up here. Give him a little nostril so he can breathe. Right? Okay, what's next? One last little thing. We put the feet on pretty quick before, and we didn't really talk about it much. But the feet also have very long nails on them, and those nails are used for grabbing branches and scratching through the dirt to find worms and things. So, we're going to go ahead and put some nails on Just like that. All right. Well, there you have it. That's how you draw a bird. Now, you can draw all the different shapes and sizes of body. In fact, if I was you, I would go on the internet and I would look up bird bodies and you would see all kinds of different bird bodies, okay? All right, well, I'm Professor Puff and that was lesson number one, how to draw a bird. The next lesson, I'm gonna show you how to make a bird fly and we're gonna draw flying birds, okay? So until then, thank you for tuning in. And this is Professor Puffin saying, 